Question three is normally about identification of the eyes and question four is planning of the experiment. First in question three, two solids C and D were analyzed and some of the tests are done on each solid. Test on solid E, uh, solid C. So what are the tests done on solid C and using these observations we can predict uh, what are the ions present or what could be the compound. So flame test is done and it is giving a red color flame. So what this gives an idea that it gives an idea it might be lithium. because lithium is uh, red. So flame test is carried out and it gives a uh, red flame. So this gives an idea it might be lithium. Then solid C was dissolved in distilled water to produce solution C. So we dissolve the substance is soluble. Then about five cm cube of sodium hydroxide was added and no change is there. So group one elements does not give any precipitate with sodium hydroxide. So this confirmed the presence of group one because red flame can be lithium, it can be calcium. But if it was a calcium and we add sodium hydroxide, so it should give white PPT if, if it was calcium. But because it is not giving out white PPT, there is no visible change, no reaction. So this confirmed that it, it is not calcium, it is lithium. Then test three, a piece of aluminum, aluminum foil was added and we already have sodium hydroxide. So when aluminum foil is added and we have sodium hydroxide, actually this, this is a test for nitrate ion. So if you want to test a nitrate ion, we add aluminum, aluminum foil or aluminum powder and followed by sodium hydroxide and heat. So effervescence were seen like bubbles are seen and the red damp red litmus paper turned blue. So it gives an idea that ammonia gas is given off, which turned the red litmus paper blue. So which gas is given off here? That is ammonia. And identity of uh, solid C or identify solid C, how we can identify what is solid C? So first we identify from the flame test, that it is lithium and this is a test for nitrate. So this give a positive result. So it is nitrate. So what is compound C? Compound C is actually lithium nitrate. So I, I, I can say LiNO3 or I can say it contain lithium ion and it contain nitrate ion. So two ions are present. One is lithium, another one is nitrate. The second part, test on solid D. So about solid D, they give you the compound. They mention that solid D is aluminum sulfate. So we already know the ions which are present, it contain an aluminum ion and it contains sulfate ion. So what all the observation of aluminum will be valid as well as sulfate will also be valid. So solid D was dissolved to form a solution and it is divided into four equal portions. First, we add sodium hydroxide. So whenever we have, whenever we have aluminum ion is present and we add sodium hydroxide, a small quantity. So first it will give white PPT because aqueous sodium hydroxide was added drop wise. So first what we'll observe, initially we'll observe the white PPT will form or white precipitate will be there. Then in excess, like when we add more than enough, what will happen? The precipitate will dissolve. So white PPT and the precipitate dissolve. As a result, it will produce a colorless solution. And with aqueous ammonia, whenever we add aqueous ammonia, so white precipitate will be there and does not dissolve. So this will be white PPT. And in excess, the precipitate is or PPT is insoluble or does not dissolve. Then about one cm cube of a nitric acid and followed by silver nitrate. This is a test for halide, like it is a it will give a positive result with chloride, bromide, and iodide. 
but because it does not contain a halide ion so it does not contain a halide ion so what will be the if it contain a halide ion then it will give up if it contain chloride ion white ppt bromide ion uh, cream color precipitate and iodine iodide ion yellow ppt but because it can they already mentioned it is a sulfate contain sulfate so we'll write here no visible change no change or no reaction will be there then about 1 cm cube of nitric acid and few drops of barium nitrate barium nitrate is a test for sulfate so whenever a sulfate ion is present and we add barium nitrate it will form barium sulfate and what is the observation what we'll see we'll observe white ppt or white precipitate so remember for identification of the ions whenever we identify the ions for especially for sulfate ions when we add barium nitrate or barium chloride it will result in a formation of white precipitate then the last question is always about the planning of experiment you have to plan an experiment and so uh, six marks so old concrete contain calcium carbonate calcium carbonate react with hydrochloric acid to gives calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide we have to plan an investigation to find which of the two lumps of concrete contain the large percentage of calcium carbonate so old concrete contain calcium carbonate and we want to find which contain the larger quantity your plan should include how you will use your result to determine which of the two lumps have a larger percentage of calcium carbonate you have access to all common lab apparatus and a supply of hydrochloric acid so first what we do we'll take equal mass of the two lumps of concrete equal mass and equal size should be there because for a fair comparison so and we'll add hydrochloric acid equal amount of uh, hydrochloric acid should be like equal concentration of hydrochloric acid should be used and then after when we add hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid will react with calcium carbonate which is present in the concrete and remaining re residue will be there and we'll measure the mass of a residue then what we do we'll compare like example we have two samples of concrete and we want to find which one contain greater percentage of calcium carbonate like example the blue spots are representing calcium carbonate so what we will do with only calcium carbonate is reacting with acid which we are adding so we'll take equal amount and for a like uh, for a fast reaction we can crush them as well because we have lumps so we can crush them large surface area so they will can react faster so we can take equal mass and then crush and then use hydrochloric acid hcl equal concentration until no more reaction occur then what will happen once the calcium carbonate which is present in a concrete reacted the amount of the concrete will change the total mass of a concrete will change because the calcium carbonate will dissolve so then what we should do as we add hydrochloric acid how we'll know which one contain the greater so we will filter and measure the mass of a residue and to know how much calcium carbonate is there like example is this mass before the reaction is m1 and mass after the reaction is m2 so m1 minus m2 will show us how much calcium carbonate is present in sample a and same thing if we say this one is m1 and this one is m2 so m1 minus m2 will give us how much mass of a calcium carbonate is there in the sample so we'll compare the mass the one which show a greater change in the mass it means that contain a greater proportion or amount of calcium carbonate so how you'll write the experiment so first what we will do we will take equal mass of concrete
that is first thing. Then we have the lumps of concrete, so we can crush and we can add crush by using a mortar and pestle and then add uh, hydrochloric acid until no more react or in excess, I can say. Then we will filter and dry the residue. Then we'll measure the mass of a residue. And then how we can, what we can conclude, we'll measure the change in the mass or cal not measure, calculate basically the change in mass. The sample which shows greater change in the mass contain greater proportion of a greater amount of calcium carbonate. This is how we plan this experiment. Now to make it more like how to improve, so take equal mass of uh, concrete or by using a balance, you will mention the operator, then crush by using mortar and pestle. Then hydrochloric acid is added in excess, then we'll filter and dry in the residue and then measure the mass again and then calculate and how we are adding hydrochloric acid we can use a measuring cylinder use pipette or use a burette to add hydrochloric acid so you can mention any one there so this was february march 2021 paper 6 variant 2